Hey guys, this is Jinx Rose, and we're back with another how-to video. In the last video, I showed you guys how to change your Minecraft skins. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get custom skins working in Minecraft multiplayer, so that you can use it on servers, um, in a LAN multiplayer that you've got just running through your house, or whatever. So, same step as last time. What you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to go to a website where you can download skins. PlanetMinecraft.com is a good one. It's the one I almost always use. There's a couple other ones. Then you click on Skins. Uh, from here, you're going to want to find something that you like. And I've already got my file, my custom file that I made for myself, which I will show you guys how to do in a later video. So once you've got that, you're going to want to go to Minecraft.net, and you're going to want to register an account. I've already got an account registered, and I'm logged in currently. So just make sure you register your account and it's totally free to do that and then after you've registered your account you want to go to mineshafter.appspot.com now this site allows you to use a minecraft server proxy that allows your skins to be seen on a minecraft server only other people that have mineshafter will be able to see your skin and vice versa, you'll only be able to see people's skins if they have Mineshafter. You won't be able to see people's premium skins because this uses like an alternate server as compared to the Minecraft server. But if you and your friends really want to do some Let's Play videos or just play online on multiplayer or whatever you want to do, just get everybody to download this. It's really simple, really easy, and you'll all have skins without having to have a premium version of the game. So you're going to want to log in or create an account and I think you'll need a Google account for this I'm already logged in but once you get it logged in you're gonna to wanna to go to you know once you get an account registered and you get logged in on mineshafter.appspot.com hover over your name and click on settings now once you're in here you, it's gonna say connect your mineshaft account the information you're gonna put in here is gonna be the same information that you use to set up to register your minecraft account so back in Mineshafter, once you've got all that information, it'll show connected username, and then your username, and then it'll say, you know, change afterwards, or whatever. Now to get your custom skin uploaded, there's a couple more steps here. Um, it'll show your current skin, which will probably be, probably be nothing if you've never used Mineshafter before. You can take the file that you downloaded from Planet Mine you know, Planet Minecraft or whatever you use. And then you're going to want to go to a site, I think they even recommend it here on, yeah, Imgur, right here. They even recommend it right on the site. So go to Imgur.com. Once you're here, upload the image from your computer. And I'll just bring in the one that I used from the last video. Start the upload. Once it's uploaded, which won't take very long, click on the image the little image and this is the site you're going to want to copy you're going to want to highlight and copy this and then go back to Mineshafter when you're in here just put this into your skin URL and click set I'm not gonna because I've got my custom skin on there already but once you click set it'll set that as your current skin now there's one last step before you're done you're going to want to go to downloads and in here Mineshaft proxy for players um, this will allow you to use it to log in and it'll treat your account as though it's a premium account it'll upload you know you can use the skins that you've uploaded to Mineshafter so click it and download it so we'll do that now and it's done just like that and then when you open this which I'm not gonna do because I've already got one open but just go ahead and open it right and then that's what you're gonna be using from now on to open up your Minecraft. So if you were using something else, that's fine, but you're gonna wanna go into wherever you've got it saved to. So I've got mine in here, and then just click on Mineshafter Proxy. It'll create two more files. And then if you click on Mineshafter Proxy, it'll open up the game. Hopefully. <laughs> here we go. And then it'll allow you to log in as though you have a premium account. So you're going to want to make sure 
that you open it with this from now on instead of whatever you were using before. This is still attached to your percent app data percent file, your dot minecraft folder. It's still attached to that, so anything that's in that will be able to be read by the proxy. And everything else will work the same way. If you want to upload texture packs or mods or whatever, you just upload it to the same place, the percent app data percent. And this the Mineshafter proxy will be able to read all of this information. You just want to make sure that you open it with this, because that way it'll treat it as a premium account. You can still open it with the old one, but then it won't treat it as a premium account. You won't be able to see your skins. Other people online won't be able to see your skins. So, and that's about it. It's a couple of steps, but it allows you to use custom skins, custom capes, all online, all on multiplayer. And as long as somebody else, whoever you're playing with, has Mineshaft, or they're going to see your custom skin, and you'll see theirs. So it's a great way to do it without having a premium account. And I hope that this helped out, guys. Um, if there's anything else you guys can think of where I should do some uh, how-to videos of it, just let me know. If you like the video, like it, and go ahead and subscribe for some more how-to videos. Uh, in the next couple ones, I'm going to be showing you how to add texture packs to Minecraft, how to add adventure maps to your Minecraft, and, and eventually how to make your own custom skin. So, right on. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time.